Have you ever wondered about evil, homosexuality, who made God, abortion, miracles, to smoke a little weed, life after death? My name is Sean McDowell, and I'm a high school teacher, a writer, a speaker, and a college professor. I'm the general editor for the Apologetic Study Bible for Students. If God made everything, then why is it wrong to smoke weed? Didn't he give us this creation for our enjoyment? The plants and the trees, shouldn't we use them to feel good? And if smoking a little weed makes me feel good, isn't that enjoying God's creation? A young person's first cigarette they smoke today is not tobacco, it's weed. Politically, this question states are proving it and others are not. So should somebody, and furthermore, a Christian, smoke weed? Well, the first thing you realize is there's nothing bad or wrong or evil with the, the marijuana plant itself. It's a part of God's good creation. On day one, God created the plants. That included the marijuana plant, cannabis, and that's good. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, there's a lot of benefits that it can be used for. The important issue is not the moral status of the cannabis plant. The real issue is how we use it or how we abuse it. Recent scientific studies have raised concern for the consistent use of marijuana. The younger a person is, the more significant impact it has on their bodies, in particular on their brains. One thing is a marijuana is tied to infertility. And secondly, a recent NPR article showed a direct tie between marijuana use and between psychotic symptoms. A, a third symptom of marijuana is lethargy, kind of feeling lazy and a lack of motivation. It steals motivation out of life. So the idea that marijuana marijuana doesn't have any scientific effects on a human being, it's false. There are some reasons to be concerned with how it affects the human body. As Christians, we also have some legitimate concerns. The scriptures calls, in particular Paul in Romans chapter 12, be sober-minded and clear in our thinking. Marijuana affects our ability to think clearly. But in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, it tells us that we are to give everything to God. And look, we all know that marijuana can be an escape. It can become a psychological crutch. And marijuana use as an escape can bring us further away from relying upon and trusting the God who can meet all of our needs. Well, Jesus says to be in the world, but not of the world. He wants us to stand out and to be different. It's easy to just kind of go with the crowd and not think critically about it. There are certainly some studies that show health benefits of weed, but there's also a lot of studies that show the negative effects of weed. So if you are looking to find a study to back up what you want to believe, you can get in the internet and you can find it. Hey, let me just let you know, I'm not naive. I realize a lot, maybe even most young people, will smoke marijuana to a degree. Is it wrong for every person under every circumstances to smoke weed? You know what, I'm not gonna say no. Now certainly in states where it's illegal, the easy answer is to say that it's illegal, but it's increasingly becoming legal. We have to be honest with ourselves. Why do I want to smoke weed? Is this fulfilling something in my life, whether socially or physically, that I should be turning over to God? Here's my challenge. What do you want out of life? Do you want the culture that we live in to define who you are for the rest of your life? Or do you want to be everything that God has called you to be and to use the gifts and the abilities God has given you to bless the world and have a life that counts? If so, is smoking weed really gonna help you get there? I think asking that question kind of answers it in itself. So can somebody under some circumstances? Sure, that's between them and God, but let me tell you something, as a father, and as a teacher, as a professor, I think it's really unwise. It could do harm to yourself and to your witness for Jesus Christ.